Chicago Bulldog fans, as y'all know, homecoming is here, right? It's here. One more day. We got to get through one more day. And homecoming, we here with it. Now, the thing we need to talk about is keys to the game. We need to talk about it because we do need to do some things to make sure that we come out with the win. This is homecoming. This is conference play, though. This game matters. This ain't no, this ain't what last week should have been. Like, you know, Fort Valley. This ain't that. This is a real game. Um, and Delaware State is not coming to play around. They are not a team that is a pushover. Nobody is in the MEAC, to be honest with you. Delaware State is without their starting quarterback, Marky Adams, right? He's out for the season, but that does not mean that they ain't still dangerous. They have two running backs in that backfield. They have been a program who consistently produced top tier running backs, guys. And they have two running backs at the moment who can and will get off if you let them. Our defensive line has been very impressive so far this season. Okay, very impressive, but we gonna need them to be on their stuff Saturday. We gonna, we gonna need that to happen because if Delaware State is gonna beat us, if they are going to gash us, it is going to be on the ground. It's gonna be a physical game. So we gotta be ready for that, right? Maybe they'll try to catch us off guard um, every once in a while with the pass. So we should be on, you know, we should always be alert. But I think if I know, if they're going to win this game, they are gonna do it on the ground. They gonna, they gonna get their damage done on the ground. I just don't know how they plan on going about it yet. And maybe they even, they even have a backup quarterback who's ready to step in and keep that running game going. I'm not worried about passing, right? We, we should be fine. But read option wise, um, maybe maybe a little bit of RPOs I, is going to get very physical for our defense, right? So we have to stop those two running backs, and we have to be on top of that, like we've been doing for the majority of the season. Now, offensively, offensively, I just don't want to see us shoot ourselves in the foot. And I feel like we've been having the same topic all season, right? Because we will have how many times during the North Carolina A&T game, for example, right? How many times did we have a big play and then it got called for something? Even during Fort Valley, when we get a little bit of momentum, it gets called back for something. So I don't want to see as much of that going forward because, you know, we we were able to survive it these past few games, but conference play, these things matter, right? You don't want to give a team like Delaware State much more of an opportunity to ruin your season. They're not going to Atlanta. They know that. But that don't mean they can't ruin your season. And that's exactly what they're coming to Orangeburg to do. They want to ruin homecoming. People love doing that. Y'all know that. You take pride in that. You schedule me for homecoming, that's disrespectful. They have a certain agenda coming to Orangeburg. So we need to be, we need to be ready. We need to be ready, all right? So no shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, I want to see us take more shots. I, I will say that. I want to see us take more shots. We got guys like Justin, who is a phenomenal deep threat, who is as fast as they come. I want to see us take more shots. Like, if we don't hit on one, don't let's not not throw it deep again. You feel you see what I'm saying? Like we have the receivers. We have a perfect we have the perfect amount of size, speed and skill at the receiver position to where we could really spread that thing out and take shots. Right? Let's go back to getting Caden high, right? Let's I don't I don't really know what happened last week and why he wasn't um included as much. He didn't you know, he played in the game but he wasn't he wasn't included as much uh, in the offense. I don't know what happened there. I can't really tell you, but you know, hopefully everything is Everything is uh, fine now. He's healthy, but he'll play. But, you know, hopefully we get him back more included and he trots out on the field with the first team um, so we can get him involved. And then a Nodge Carter, you know, I think we need to kind of feed him more, too. I think the fact that he had those two touchdowns versus Fort Valley State, I think his confidence is at an all-time high right now. So let's try to go to him early and often to try to keep him in that move. I mean, that groove in that zone. We need to keep doing that. The run game. I want to see more than Duhart and KZ getting active, right? Like, I, like I, I want to see... I don't know what I don't know what happened to Josh. Um, so I would like to see Josh, you know, get in on short yardage situations. I would like to see Tyler Smith um get on the field. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what he can do. Let's try to get him in space. We have we have a whole room. We got a whole, you know, running backs by committee. Now, when I say these things, disclaimer, this is not me 
saying that I disagree with what the coaches are doing. No, not at all. The coaches are doing a fantastic job. We're four and two on the season. This is a much better season already than what we've had last year. They have done a tremendous job, every single one of them. And I support whatever decision they make. This is just me talking and giving my own analysis. Um, so yeah, those are, those are the things that I want to see offensively from South Carolina State. Overall, we should win this game. I just think the game would be over a little bit more early, right? Like we can we can really not sweat over it and just really enjoy homecoming at a certain point if we could just not shoot ourselves in the foot with penalties which is the main thing that's that's really my only concern let's not do that we're we're more than talented enough of a team to handle this game decidedly and just let it be over with i just want the game to be over with by by halftime maybe the early you know early in the third quarter and let's enjoy homecoming all right i want to i want to be able to film so much uh more than just the game and and warm-ups i want actual i want good content i want that cinematic uh that's that cinema what? two hours later uh what's the name what is the name oh brother this guy stinks the cinematic recap i want more than the cinematic recap to you know i want to i want to have a lot of things to show y'all um, because homecoming last year was just so great. So I want to continue that. So, y'all, with that being said, this is the Blitz City Podcast. All right. I'm your host, Kobe Yor. Um, If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App. All right. You can do so right there. I'll put the picture up. Um, because, you know, I'm getting, I'm giving y'all a lot of this content and I'm going to be going to an away game at Howard to give y'all the highlights for that too, just in case you can't catch it on TV. So, it ain't like it. It ain't free. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I booked the, I booked the, I booked the flight. I got to I still got to book the hotel. Um, so if y'all want to like help for that, y'all could. Like I said, I'm going, I'm going there to keep y'all updated in real time. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll keep you updated in real time. If not, I will have the highlights uploaded the next day or that night. So yeah, man, if y'all want to help, y'all want to help uh, sponsor that trip, you can do so right there through Cash App. Anything you give is greatly appreciated. With that being said, though, y'all are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe York. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, as always. And I will see y'all Saturday at homecoming, man. I can't wait. All right, be safe. I'm out. Peace.